Hello, everyone. I think we can all acknowledge the importance of application dependency mapping. Uh, but the one question we always get is that there are so many different types of application dependency mapping tools. So what are the challenges with some of them, right? How do they collect data? Uh, what are the challenges there in terms of data collection? And which ones uh, or which methods are the most accurate, up-to-date, and efficient uh, solutions, right? So if you look at application dependency mapping tools, right, some of them do OS-based polling, right? Uh, some may use SNMP or NetFlow, and some may be even using agents, right? Each of these methods has its own limitations and challenges, right? So if you look at the OS polling type of a solution, right, that may be using WMI or SSH, again, the challenges there are around it not being real-time, it's cumbersome to set up, it is uh, definitely challenge of learning dependency changes in the dynamic world. And then uh, also has poor application uh, classification. It may do a few things based on port information, but there's no real classification for saying, uh, for example, right, in your healthcare environment, are you running the DICOM protocol? Are you running HL7, right? So challenges around the classification do exist with those type of uh, mapping tools, right? Then if you think about SNMP and NetFlow polling-based solutions, again, you have the challenge of uh, it not being real time as such, right? And then the poor classification issue, right? Uh, also, it may not have enough information on the dependencies like the downstream impacts and a few other things. And then finally, you have the agent-based solutions, right? You can just imagine the rollout. It's so cumbersome. It's so expensive. And then IT operations may need approvals from application owners on instrumenting it. Uh, obviously, they have poor classification uh, challenges, right? As well as they're going to struggle with instrumenting SaaS-based applications or third-party applications. So if all of these tools, right, uh, that do application dependency mapping have so many challenges, what should you look for in a tool that makes things efficient for you or and accurate for you, right? So with the dynamic and fast-paced environment, you need the ability to roll out your monitoring or mapping solution super fast, right? So having a solution that's agentless will be key. Uh, Next is, can you trust the data that's being presented by the dependency mapping tool for real-time analysis? And that is where I think we all can agree that packets don't lie. So a packet-based solution or a deep packet inspection-based solution is uh, something that's gonna be uh, the most accurate and the most trustworthy. Uh, then the solution also needs to support the applications and then add the classification piece on top of that, right? What's running in the environment, right? Like I said earlier, is it DICOM? Is it HL7? Is it some building automation application? Is it a financial application? Is it some industrial application? Is it SaaS applications, right? Uh, you need to get full visibility uh, into those applications with built-in classification. You also need end-to-end -end visibility, right? All the way from the client back to the internals of your data center or your cloud environment. Just think about VDI as an example, right? You want to know where your issues lie, right? Is the issue on the thin client side for somebody who's working from home, right? Or is it at the virtual desktop VM side? Is it at the connection server side? Or is it a backend database server or domain controller or whatever, right? So getting that end-to-end -end visibility is critical. Uh, you may also have application workloads that are spanning cloud boundaries. So being able to visualize the workload across your virtual environment, your cloud environment, or even your legacy physical servers type of environment is key, right? Looking at the big picture, looking at the entire picture is what will allow you to quickly isolate where your issues lie. Then going back uh, to the applications, right? Knowing the mapping and dependencies at the app level is key. So you can focus on the application with the problem that needs help uh, as such. Uh, next is the mapping of the application to the underlying network or infrastructure, right? Uh, things that are actually supporting the 
application and the dependencies, right? So when problems do occur, you want to know uh, what is the underlying issue, right? Is it the virtual network, the physical network? Is it your compute? Is it storage? Being able to map uh, directly from your uh, application to the infrastructure is going to be uh, key, right? Lastly, it is again the ability for the tool to keep up with the challenges of modern IT with uh, new assets being acquired all the time or brought into production, right? Being able to update that in real time and understand everything is the next point, right? So these are all the critical points that you would look for in an application dependency mapping tool, right? Uh, so again, just to summarize, deep packet inspection base to get the most accurate information uh, uh, and then uh, getting end-to-end -end visibility plus visibility into the underlying infrastructure that's supporting the application. So hopefully this was uh, helpful to everybody who's thinking about an application dependency mapping solution, right? And that's all we wanted to cover today. Thank you for joining us.